Hey GPNZ crew, Sam here. As you can tell, it's raining outside and uh, I'm about to start a really long road trip. Uh, I'm off to see Luke. Now, if you have mentioned anything on a Facebook post of mine, you've probably seen Luke commenting. He grew the pumpkin down in um, Bulls, Wairarapa, uh, that sort of area. And the other ones that dropped it from the helicopter. He's super enthusiastic. He wants some mill fabric. I've got some there and some seedlings. So I'm going to go for a four and a half hour drive to drop that off. Uh, more importantly, it's just to say hi, see what he's up to, and hopefully, it's not raining down there. But follow along, let's go for a trip, let's see how we go. Hey, 188 kilometers to go. I am at this random rest stop. There's no one else around. Here's some views for you uh, in the background. Let's have a look. Look at that. Uh, this is the steaming cliffs. There's a whole bunch of steam coming off some cliffs over there, apparently. Um, and over here, I'm assuming, but I don't know. I'm assuming that's part of Lake Taupo. I don't know. It looks pretty epic. It's nice and quiet. You can hear the traffic. Just starting to build. Anyway, had a break. Time to get going. Okay, I'm almost here. Actually, I'm in Bulls right now. I've just got to go down the road eight kilometers and I'll be at Luke's place. But I just did want to stop because obviously Bulls, I'm assuming there was a bull. I've never been here before. I found the bull. Here it is. I thought it might be bigger. Um, Morris will do it bigger with their giant cow. This is just a life-size bull, I guess. So. Better carry on, better meet Luke, uh, better check out what's going on there. Okay, I'm in Bulls, I'm at Luke's place. I found it, it's not raining, which is a miracle, but it will soon. Uh, we're gonna check in with Luke himself and find out how his season's going. Of course, I like catching up with people, so if you want me to randomly turn up and see how your giant pumpkins are going, let me know. Hopefully you can hear this okay, it's very windy. I'm hoping the mic's coping with this. Luke's currently running away from me with a tire. This is what you want, you want a patch that's uh, massive, it's a bit bigger than Tiny Patch 2.0, just slightly. How's it going Luke? Good. You love it don't you? Love it, yep. Beautiful weather, beautiful <laughs> summer weather. Oh, no, no, the camera, most, most farmers love it. Tim, Tim oh. is a fan. Tim is the number yeah, one fan. We all love people. Yeah. How long have you been growing giant pumpkins for? Uh, last year was my proper first go at it. And how did you get started? Um, we went to Martin Harvest Fair and got along with Aaron. Yes. Um, and he, he would have smashed it, I'm guessing. Was he, did he enter that year? Yes, he got a 435 kilo pumpkin. Nice. Um, I quite like the Martin Harvest Festival thing. I was just surprised at how few pumpkins there were that one time, the, the once yes. that I went. But um, it's good. Yeah, and out of that, we got 568, I think. Excellent. And what's the plan this year? How many well, plants have you got? The There's a few here. The plan's changed. <laughs> Plans always change when it comes to giant pumpkins. Um, if I can beat my one from last year, I'll be happy. Last year's weight was? 568. 568, you dropped it from a helicopter? No, that was a 460. Sorry, 460 came from the helicopter? Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, bit of fun. We might blow one up this year. Blow, yeah. <laughs> you got to do that on the real down low though, is what we've learned. Oh, you can do it in the country. Yeah, you can do it in the country. <laughs> so, how many plants you got going? Uh, I've got two of my own. Well, I started two of my own, but I've had problems with them. Yep. Um, we've got a family one over on the left over there. Um, the cousins have got two plants. Um, and my boy's 702 over there. Um, awesome. So four plants will up. Looking forward to seeing images of this whole area covered in green vines. It'll be good. <laughs> Is there anything that you've tried differently this year? Uh, I did two soil tests, one in autumn, um, and then I made an amendment, and then I did another spring test, and then put more amendments in, um, and that's all I've done, and a bigger patch, I think last year, I think each pumpkin came in from a 70 or 80 square metre patch, but this year's 100 square metres per pumpkin. Excellent, go big or go home. <laughs> Try to. Something like that. <laughs> uh, top tip for any other enthusiastic giant pumpkin growers out there? Don't use Roundup. And if you yeah, <laughs> don't use Roundup, uh, be careful of where it goes, yep. where it can get into, 
it can cause you a few problems. Have you always lived in Bulls? No, we lived in Rongatia. Where's that? Um, that way, here. Excellent. That's all I need to know. Just point that way. <laughs> On the pumpkin fanatic side. Yeah. It's never grown. Yeah, it's been a pollinator, but it's never been the growing seed. Oh, okay. But you can see here, it's oh, really, yeah. it looks healthy. Yeah. But all that, like that was completely yellow like that, but it's greened up. But oh, yeah, it's I coming back, of, coming I back. I sort of said to Tim, I said, um, I don't know if it's worth it because it's had a hit. It may not fully recover. Fully recover. Hard, to, hard to say, eh? Yeah. And the 568. Really big problems with. Um, one there and a split. Oh, yeah. yeah. Has that happened before? Yeah, and it, it recovered, it's healed up. Yeah. But it's one of those things where it's had that, it's had the roundup, it has grown from here. So it is still growing, that's only two days' growth. Oh, right. But yes. it's one of those things where is that. So that's gonna affect its whole plant growth. Mm. I think it will still be okay mm. from my uh, experience with a vine like that. So that's the thing I'm sort of thinking of. I might leave that. That's the 1487. Oh, one in here, I didn't realise. So you can see it is growing. Oh, right. But that's on the 3rd of October. Yeah, yeah, but a bit slower than what you'd like. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> what happened to it? This was a ribbon vine as well. Also. Um, you can see there. Oh, yeah. And then I've snapped it off here somewhere. No. And here. And then I've made it go to a, a single. Very good. It might make it. This one was out of the 460. But, like I say, that's been hit with a lot of water and actually I think that's rotten. Yeah, it looks a bit, doesn't look the best. I'm going to pull it out because I was going to put another one anyway. Yeah. A lot of water, pretty much rotted out the root end. Hmm. Go on, another one will go in there. Go on. And that's the other the thing I had to crack in this one too, the sun's one, which it healed. Oh yeah, um, that's not too bad. But his... I was saying... Is that roundup round up on the end as well or something else? Oh, oh yeah, I think this one's going to have round up. Which is a pain. Yeah. Because you can see how flat the this is. From this end. It's going from a ribbon... Well, that one was ribbon vine, but this is more flat vine. Yeah. But, you know, it looks like it, it slowly peeled off. But, I don't know, that 568 was the same size as this one when it got hit. So, if it recovers, that's another story. But if not, I might just get most of the go, the 435, which grew my 568. Yeah. There we go. Big shout out to Luke. Thanks for uh, <laughs> seeing me. Um, it was great to check out your pumpkin patch uh, and to visualize the whole area in actual uh, real space because sometimes just looking at looking at it online when you send photos sometimes hard to figure out and judge how things are but it's pretty good so I hope the rest of the season goes well uh, I'm glad it wasn't raining uh, it was a bit windy though so sorry if about that time to find some food and get some petrol and then uh, make my way back home but before then I've got something just for you Tim that's right the only place that gets Tim rather excited. That's right, it's the Martin Swim Center. A 50 meter pool in Martin, it's uh, the uh, best place to see. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you really should check out uh, the Martin video, which I shot uh, a while ago, actually. So I will post that up here, go check that out, and you too can experience it in all its glory. Another stop, this time in Waiuru. Uh, of course, we're heading north. Well, I'm heading north, it's only me. And um, oh, the weather's turning to crap. Look at it. Terrible, lots more rain. Terrible, terrible weather. Um, one day it'll be fine. 
the hail has started. So rain, hail, this red light that I wait for forever. Good times. Welcome to the back up to the, the top of the North Island. The trip continues. So there we go. I forgot to record this when I got home last night because obviously I was very tired. So this is the next day and uh, I've still got to sort out all this video. So uh, good trip. Uh, traffic was really good. Weather wasn't too bad. A little bit wet. Um, good to see Luke. Check out that pumpkin patch. And um, yeah, all around good trip. So hope you like this little video uh, of my little uh, road trip. And I hope everything's going all right. Like this rain is like mental. So much rain. Anyway. Uh, until next time, I'm Sam, giantpumpkins.co.nz. See ya.